death that claimed its victory The king of love had given up his life The darkest day in history They're on the cross They're on the cross They made the sin curse his blood at home one final breath and it was finished but not the end we could have known for the earth began to shake and the veil was torn the sacrifice was the heavens roll. We sing all hail King.
there not be a better song for us to sing than all hail King Jesus? It's the song of our souls as believers. It's the song of the earth and creation all joining together, the universe singing all hail King Jesus who was and is and is to come. With thankful hearts, we sing that. It's tough for us to, I think, understand the kingship of Jesus sometimes because we've just seen it so messed up. We've seen tyranny and dictatorship and weird stuff. But Jesus' kingdom is holy and it's pure. And when you're part of his kingdom, when you're part of Jesus' kingdom, um, he becomes everything to you. And you can stop believing in the lies of this culture that says, this is what you need. This is how you're gonna get rest for your soul if you do this. This is how you're gonna get joy. This is how you're gonna get peace. But none of those things ever satisfy. Maybe for a moment, but they pale in comparison to the rest and peace and joy and satisfaction you get in the kingdom of God, in Jesus' kingdom where he's king of your life and he's calling the shots and you don't have to, you just get released from having to call the shots. And he just comes in and he just graciously by his Holy Spirit walks with you and he convicts you of sin, he corrects you, he's against you so he can be for you. It's a good work. So we just welcome that. Uh, that's, we welcome his king, his kingship into our life tonight as believers. We welcome that. Father, we pray that you would, you would show us the reality of your kingdom and how perfect and powerful it is. And that we would be able to lay down these tiny little kingdoms we're trying to build here in Dallas, in America, in this world. And we would just, we would come into your rest. We would come into your peace through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. We would just embrace all that the kingdom has, Lord. So come work in us, Lord. I pray that you would just remove fear and anxiety and the fear of man trying to please others. And you would just, you would make your people free.
your people, Jesus. Holy Spirit, just come do what you do. Do what we can't do for ourselves. Set your people free from addiction and anxiety and whatever binds them up in the secret place, Lord. I pray that you would just, you would free us from any secret sin, any sin that's just indwelling in us, tied to our personality kind of sin. God, you would just destroy it in a moment. Holy Spirit, come and work in our life. Live your life through us, God.